Tennessee was good at football, like T. Martin was the coach. I thought you guys would be talking Formula One. <laughs> well, here's the thing. So the, race was, so, here's the thing. so the race itself is actually in a delay last we checked. But Verstappen was in first. I think Hamilton was like in third. Are you a big F1 fan? No, I watched the show, so oh. the, yeah, and so I know everything now. <laughs> Who's your favorite? Well, driver? they're that's it. They're in. They're they're a dead heat. Are they not going into the last yeah. race? Yeah, it's pretty that'll cool. Be driving, yeah. That'll be pretty cool. It's good. I'll be a fan of that. Just watching that will be awesome. Okay, sorry. <laughs> no, you guys were talking basketball. I'm sorry. So that said, Dave Verstappen, um, <laughs> when you look at who was on the ice today with Jordan and Jaden and, and Callie as well, is it still similar to one of those? day-to-day things or what is kind of the thought on yeah you know we were off yesterday so you know we uh, went into practice today good to see those guys out there um, obviously Ebbs was on a line today uh, but realistically in in all of those cases you know we've, we'll make some decisions later this afternoon and most likely tomorrow morning on game day for all of you know for uh, for all of those guys a couple weeks ago you talked about before you guys you guys were still on the movie screen you talked about how you were doing a lot of the right things and then at some point you're not going to turn in. Is that really what's happened here in the way you kind of overcame that team and you're just something that's just start turning? Yeah, you know, not very little has changed in terms of our our 60-minute performance. Um, you know, it's it's little things within games that uh, that have been able to turn games our way. Um, you know, you look at the other night, you know, it, Scoring a couple of timely goals, um, a great save, you know, by Gruby uh, when when it's a one-goal game, um, you know. So it's little things like that that uh, that have been able to push, you know, some of those results uh, the the right way for us. There's no major ch shift or change in our game. Uh, that being said, you know, we we really liked our compete level um, a couple nights ago against Edmonton. That was a, that was a big part of. Uh, being able to uh, to build a win the other night, and that's something that's going to have to continue for us. Um, you know, it's it's been a pretty good constant. It has to continue at a high level. Well, you know, I you know I said the other day, you know, injuries are a part of it, and it, it, at the end of the day, um, you know. Nobody really, you know, in the outside world, nobody cares who's available and who isn't. It's about competing for the win and for the loss, and um, you know that's that's a that's a big part of uh, you know trying to remain competitive and try to remain successful. As guys that are in the lineup, um, having the confidence to go in and just do their part, uh, and do it in their own way, uh, and and bring value and add value, and, and you know and. and contribute to uh, you know to the team that night and that's probably the biggest thing that you know we've been able to get and again it, it happened the other night everybody in the lineup you know contributed in one way or another and that was really important yeah I think you know we've talked about it before it's always a you know there's always it's it's a special opportunity, obviously, when you're when you're playing against your former team and uh, different emotions. You know, obviously, that you know we we can't understand when, when you know when we're not in that you know in that person's shoes. So um, I think everybody knows and understand. You know, everybody's going to go through it at some point in time this year, um, and guys want to support each other. You know, when that opportunity comes. Is there a different plan for you know comparing slowing down McDavid and McDavid and Drysdale to slowing down Crosby? Well, those guys are, I mean, they're, they're elite, um, you know, um, so, you know, you, you have to, you know, do a, a really good job, you know, just in terms of, you know, number one puck management with them, uh, you know, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to have the puck enough, um, you know, you can't give them free pucks, and, you know, secondly from there is just, you know, being able to, uh, you know, to work as a five-man unit out there on the ice, take away time and space, and, you know, and try and do a good job. You know, is there, they're they're different players. Um, you know, but they're, you know, they're absolutely elite players on the world level uh, in their own way. Back to what you're saying about sort of the way everybody's playing the way you want. Are you feeling like you're getting that buy-in from everybody? Because it seems like the foundation of building blocks emotionally, physically, the way you're playing is good right now. I mean, especially with some of the wins. 
Well, even, you know, I, I probably more so had, you know, I, I had that belief right from day one. Uh, that belief was really tested in all of us, you know, as we went through a stretch of five or six games where we were unable to win. That's when you really test, you know, you, you test will and you test togetherness during that time. Um, and our guys never wavered. I mean, there were some nights, uh, they were tough nights, but guys were resilient and always came back to the rink the next day with a great attitude uh, and, and great work ethic. Um, I can tell you it's, it's a hell of a lot more fun uh, to come to the rink and, and have that same work ethic when you're finding a little bit of success. Uh, but along with that, probably the most important thing that, you know, that I see uh, is just that consistent hunger to come to the rink, work, uh, and, and push the next day. So, you know, nobody's getting ahead of themselves here. You know, we've, we've found a little bit of success. We, we know that, you know, we've got an awful lot of work to, to do. Uh, and most importantly, you know, we know we got a hell of a challenge tomorrow. And that's, you know, that's where the, the focus is at, right? It's just on short-term uh, short opportunities, uh, short-term goals, uh, and, you know, and, you know, the next challenge at hand. No, there's no, there's not really one moment. I mean, there's everything is tied together. Um, I can tell you there were some, you know, some uh, there was some real strong leadership uh, uh, that was, you know, going on, and you know, leadership, uh, hap you know, items that were happening during that time. Uh, so, you know, if you want to look to a moment or two, you you talk to you know our leadership group. They they're the ones you know that generated you know those types of moments and and continued pushing forward. Yeah, it's you know he's. He, it's a challenge for everybody in their own way. You're trying to find your way on a on a new team. Uh, you know, trying to find your you know your consistent role. Um, you know, and, and you got to remember, you know, Jared's year started. You know, with it was pretty disrupted with COVID issues right from day one uh, on, then off again. Um, you know, and, and that was all coming out of a great preseason. So we just didn't have that opportunity to really get settled in in the first you know few weeks of our year, but. Uh, that's something that everybody is working through and you're you're finding him you know he's he's finding a rhythm and you know the hidden thing through all of this is he's scoring consistently you know even through any of the ups and downs and um, you know the uh, you know COVID taking him in and out of our lineup things like that but one thing he's done he's consistently pro you know provided offense and, and produced for us so that's a huge credit to him um, you know and he's you know like I said he's continuing to you know, solidify his role in other areas on our team. When you think big picture about a guy like him, I mean, he turns 26 soon, so he's young but still has that experience. He's on pace, he's had a career high in goals and points. But what's it like knowing that you have a guy like him who hits that sweet spot that you look at and say, okay, these are one of our guys we can use going forward in the bigger picture? Yeah, no question. When you, you know, when you look at the offense that he's been able to provide and the growth, not just here over the last couple of years in his game, you know, I think that bodes really well for the future for uh, for him. Can I say real quick, I mean, we asked about players earlier. What is kind of the latest on Mark Turcotta? Uh, he's he remains in protocol today, so we're just continuing through through the protocol. So no, he's he's nearing the end of it. That's what I'll say. He's nearing near you know nearing the end, and then there's always there's obviously a process right. you know in place to come out of that protocol. Yes. One quick end question. With him, Brandon Tanev, Morgan Geeky, they've been together for this run. What have you appreciated about their success so far on this last one? A uh, couple different levels there. Number one, they've they've provided offense for us, you know, on a pretty consistent basis. Uh, but they've also been, a, you know, a, a, a sound and you know a trusted two-way line. So, you know, those are we, we need that from each one of our groups. Um, and those are the two things that really stand out. The two of them, or the three of them, seem to have some chemistry together. Uh, but you know, it's not good enough just to be able to produce offense. You got to play 200 feet, and and those guys, you know, they've they've done a pretty good job of it together.
what's it like to know that your nickname now is Nate Baxtell after saying you didn't want to take a puff that you were fine with Paul McFarland taking it? <laughs> I can't believe nobody asked about Paul today, how he's doing. Well, how is Paul? He good. Too late, you guys didn't ask. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> besides that one roll, ring, roll it. I, I think besides that one ring, you're a bigger baseball guy or basketball guy or football guy. Oh, gosh, I don't know. Anything at playoff time. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Dave.